Hey guys, welcome to the 139th C Sharp tutorial that I'm making for the new Boston. And in this tutorial, we're going to continue looking at making um, our own controls. Now, in the past six tutorials, we were basically working on a button control. And that button control was basically coded from the ground up because we didn't inherit from any other classes. We only inherited from the user control class, which just doesn't really have much information on it. So if you wanted to only change like a few properties about the button or override something, then you can just inherit from the button's class and then override the members that you want to edit. So now that we inherited from our button class right here, um, when we were if we were to drag uh, this user control um, onto the form, we would just get a button because it's inheriting everything from that button class. So let's say we wanted to edit a few things inside of all this button class. Well, what we can do is just uh, inherit from the button class and then edit them in this class by overriding them. So if we wanted to make it so the user cannot set the button's text equal to like Adam or something, well, we can do that. We can just do an override and then override the uh, text property. And we can make it so if the user tries to set the um, uh, text property equal to like Adam or something, um, we can tell it that it cannot do that and then just set the uh, property to something different. So if the user tries to set uh, this text property equal to Adam, we're going to get a message box saying, um, you are not authorized to use that name. And then after the message box shows, um, the text will be set equal to um, user control one. And then we'll just return so that um, it never gets to this code if um, they try to set it equal to Adam. Alright, so now if we go back to the form here and just build to save our changes or update them, try to set the text equal to Adam. Nope, you're not authorized to use that name, and then just set the back to user control one. Alright, and there's a few different things you can do. For example, if you wanted to override an event, you can do that. You can do override, and then just type like on, and that's generally where all of the uh, events are. And as you can see right here, like on click, then you can just override this. And this will just basically just call that or that event. So if you wanted to have a message box show and then call the event, um, you can do that. So you just have a message box show saying hello. And now when you click on the button, we should see hello. Yep, even though we don't have any code under this button one click because uh, we have it right here in this override method. And since we still call it from the base um, class, if we were to put code under here, under this button one click on our form, then it would still execute that. So if we had a message box show saying, I am Adam, then it should show because we're still calling the method from the base class. Yep, and I am Adam. But if we were to delete this so it never um, called anything from the base class, then all we would get is hello. So now when we debug and click this button, we should just get hello. Yep, and no other message boxes. Because it never called this method because we told it, or no, it never called this method because we told it not to. We just deleted that. Alright, so that's pretty much it for this tutorial. So, see you guys.